Hello everybody, welcome back to another Shrine Guide for Breath of the Wild. Today we are going over Shrine number 8, which is the Kam Urog Shrine. And it, it just so happens to be one of um, our, and it's actually not one of, it is one of, it is actually our first secret shrine, uh, which is actually one of the hidden ones uh, that we get a riddle for. So, this is uh, going to be a good one. We actually get a... Um, good item out of here you'll get the frost spear for completing this uh we don't have the map yet so i'm just kind of eyeballing but it's really roughly around this uh pinpoint right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the dueling peak stable the quickest way to get here if you haven't gotten here or you're just trying to find it is the hot the hamar shrine um so peace cake travel here and uh you're gonna need arrows for this one so if you don't have any Quickly go to the pit stable and find Beetle, talk to Beetle, buy some arrows. After that, you're going to want to just kind of hit the road here and follow this path all the way down. So let's get to it. Oh man, I love this game. This game is so good. I know that my recording quality in terms of video isn't like the greatest. I record in 720, but that's what happens when you use just a phone. I mean, I'm using an iPhone an iPhone 7 to be precise, which okay, does a lot better, um, and I have a stand for it, uh, which is, which is alright, I mean, the quality isn't like, you know, spot on screen capture, but it's not terrible, at least I don't think so, there's no lag or anything with that, which is great, makes it nice, easy to understand, easy to see, a little blurry, but that's alright, I mean, it's blurry on the stuff that you really don't need to see. Uh, you really need all the detail for the sword and shield? Nah, not really. You can just see that it's a bloody sword and shield. Uh, so we're making our way downtown. We're sprinting fast. Did this guy really follow me? Bruh. Alright, now you're annoying. Get out of here. Go home. Nobody likes you. Go away. Give me the shroom. God, these guys just don't quit. Okay, just do not quit. Alright, so I'm going to speed up here and show you guys how to get there. Just kind of, you know, follow my lead. Once I smack them out of here. And get all of their shite. Alright. We... Okay, so we found it. So, you get them down here. And you don't use your sledgehammer because that's a bad thing. Alright, 
so we got a radish. All right. So, see that glowing one? It has to be at night time to do this. 2100 in liter. But you basically just pull out your bow, grab an arrow, and shoot it in the face. And it goes kaboom. And your shrine pops up. Super simple. If you get here in the daytime, you can make a campfire and just sit and wait. And as soon as you see the glowing eyes, just pop it. Problem solved. There also are some special shrooms around here. You've got the shaman shroom, which is always nice. Some wild things that fuxes. So you got the calm Udog shine. The cool thing is, is that this one is super, uh, super easy. There is no trial or anything like that. Your trial was actually just unlocking it, which is cool. I messed up the skip. Oh well. Oh well. Skip the Malu. Ah, oh, really? Well, crap. I lied. Most of them are this way. So, this one is actually kind of a fun one to do. <sighs> this one's actually, it looks kind of weird at first and kind of difficult, but it's really not that hard. This is just going to take place with the stasis. And in order to get all of your chests, you're just going to want to literally freeze the gears that turn it. So, kind of simple, sort of. And you're literally just going to sit here until... Uh, It took me a minute to kind of just sit here because you want to like you want to ride one of these pillars to be able to jump and get your uh, chest here. So it's sort of a pain in the butt because you're gonna want to like kind of like get up to it, and as soon as you kind of get kind of high, you want to like glide down, really try to glide on top, which I just epically screwed up, because now, now guess what, there's no way to get to it at all, yay, isn't that nice, but yeah, so basically that's what you're going to just do, is you're just going to kind of run it around and jump to it. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah, and that happens too. For all, some dumb reason. Like, all the time. Running out of health. That's, that's not a good thing. i to stock off that shit soon. So let's try it again. Unfortunately, this one is not yeah. It's not that way. Which sucks. So yeah, literally just kind of sit here and wait. And as it rotates, just kind of rotate with it, but be careful. Because that happens. So, okay, so we finally got this chest. What we do do? We get the soldier spear. Now, there is a chest right there that we want to get to. For this, we get to ride the merry-go-round again. So. Oh, okay, yeah. Ride the merry-go-round one more time. And this time, you're going to want to get off on the platform or yeah actually no i lied you can just get on the stairwell 
And you're just gonna take the stairwell all the way up to the exit, basically. Whee! So, this is where you get to here. But, if you noticed, our shrine is actually, our little uh, chest here is actually below us. So, you can, if you want the shrine, uh, just the bed. Ta-da. Piece of cake. And you get opal. So, there's that. Pretty simple, actually. Not really that hard about it. You can just dive back on. And repeat your little flip. Wait. And we've done it. Whee! All right, so that's pretty much all the chests. And we've got the orb. So that is that shrine. So, if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, like so. Yeah, that. Yeah, no. I, um, a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more. I'm doing all 120, all in a row, baby. All in a row. So, with that in mind, guys, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you guys next time. See you later.